So along comes um, Avogadro, Amadeo Avogadro. Seventeen seventy six to eighteen fifty six. And he was following up with, on Gay Lussac's observation. Remember, we talked about that last time, where Gay Lussac had observed that when gases react, they, their volume of reaction of each of the gas is in simple whole number ratios. And Avogadro's hypothesis was that equal volumes, he could explain this. If he said equal volumes of different gases at same T and P, temperature and pressure, contain the same number. of molecules. So what that meant was if you measured the density of a gas, and we use rho to represent density, this is G for gas, let's say it's gas A, well what do we mean by that? If I know how many molecules I have in, and I multiply by their mass, each mass of each molecule, and divide by a volume, I get mass per volume, and that's density. I can do it for another gas in at you know equal volume of another gas. It has the same number according to his hypothesis. Different molecule, so it has a different mass. Divide by the same volume, I'll get a different density. So if I can measure these densities by just taking a ratio here, I can measure the densities of each gas, and if I know the mass of one molecule, I can get the mass of the other. The problem was I couldn't get the absolute mass for some time. Right? I Using Avogadro's hypothesis, I could go from, I could get the ratio of two masses, but I couldn't get the absolute mass. But if I had one molecular weight, if I could do it some way, I could get the other molecular weight just by measuring the gases. So it took some time for the net techniques to be derived to get the actual number. But they, uh, we won't, we'll talk about them later, but the actual number was defined for a specific amount of material. So we'll call it 12 grams of carbon-12 has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. So if I take... 12 grams of carbon, solid, and consume it with just sufficient oxygen to burn it completely to CO2, then all I need to do to get the mass of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen molecules was just to measure the mass consumed. And of course you know this is going to be 32 grams. And so the combination of this idea and the studies of sequentially, uh, you know, reactions, you could go from the molecular weight of one species to the molecular weight of another just through those experiments. And so that's how the periodic table of elements was being filled with molecular weights of elements.